Okay, we're going to make a patch in the Ampera 2 stump. Kind of show you how the thing works. Um, I prefer using the editor, especially when demoing, when you're looking online and trying to show people. It's kind of the clearest way I can scroll over. So we have empty routing here. Um, you can do a few things before you get started. You can check the uh, routing. You can have two inputs go into one. Parallel split to mixer. This is probably the best way I like. So then you can put some on the other line. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick an amp. Um, I'll start off with a high gain. Well, actually, I'll start off with a clean one. Why not? Um, we'll go the doctor. Now, the doctor, I, I, I've, I've used this one before. This one tends to be dark. And so one of the first things I would um, suggest when you're creating a patch is just make sure you know what uh, pickup you're on because sometimes I'll get a nice tone that I think is cool and dark but it's on my bridge <laughs> so I'm like oh and then I switch over to my neck and then it's way too muddy so you want to just make sure you're switching through your pickups on all your patches just to kind of hear um, the changes uh, between the pickups so okay so I picked an amp we'll try and find a cabinet to match with the amp that works well. We just start going through. As you can hear. Now we can just scroll through if we want. So this is on the middle setting. That's on the neck. That's pretty good. Honestly, like that sounded not too bad. Now, if I want to get more output out of this, the a beautiful thing with the Ampero, it's like you can. There's so many ways to get uh, extra output. You know, you can use pedals. Like you would, you just kind of use your imagination. Honestly, you can go straight to the amp. And what I like about the Doctor Z, nice and clean. I get nice, very hard to overdrive it. So that's big and clean okay so you know you can kind of move your amp along the way to give space for other effects now you know you could put a compressor in front of it if you want you see what I'm saying that's without So you can use that compressor to get more output. All right. What if I want even more output? I can get a dynamic. I can get a booster. And the beauty of this Dr. Z amp is this is still pretty clean. That's a lot of output right now, but it's still clean. So it's all you need is just, to, but, but I'm overdriving the amp. I'm overloading the amp, you can hear that, that feedback. So if you wanted to clear that up, what could we do? Maybe we could add a little noise gate. So a noise gate will get rid of the some of them on the frequencies. But you have to watch out. You drive it too far, you'll kill your signal. See that? If 
but it'll kill that buzz. But it just it just adds a certain adds a lot to it where it's not necessarily desirable, you know. But that is something you can do. That number two is a little bit more pleasant. So that's a lot of gain on something pretty clean. Um, now we, we could switch it up, right? Now what if we want to go high gain? Go uh, and what I though this is one benefit of the Ampero too that I do like over the original is that they kind of organize it um, before it just had it as like all. So you just have to kind of know what amp you were looking for. But now they have these sub uh, filters, so you can look specifically for something that's high gain. So you don't kind of waste your time or you looking for something that's specifically a bass amp. Because if you're not familiar with gear, you know what I mean? You, you're not going to know what the name of some of these are, you know? So I, I really appreciate that. So you can just go straight to something that you're looking for. So high gain amp. You can see that's getting, we're getting crunchy now, right? Right off the gate. So high gain. Look at that. And this is just amp. I haven't added any. That's just the amp crunchy. Wow. That, that's big. And see, so you see the difference between that Dr. 38, how clean that was. And. Even though you're gonna drive that amp, it's still not, it's still nice and clean. And then you compare it with that Marshall. So just just the amp itself, you're getting drivy, drivy, drivy. And I love that because it gives you options. If you want to stack a, something heavy with that, then you could go even heavier, or you could stack something heavy with something clean. It, it you know, again, limitless options. There's so many uh, things you can do. I mean, listen to how big that is. If I could rub it in your hand, would you make something time would stand? I tried painting on the walls, but I've got nothing stands alone.
Again, you get lost a second. End pause. Wow, thing. You make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Become my own wild thing. So much bloody fun. I, I can't get over it. By far the best effects unit I've ever gotten. And look at these distortions. I'm just going to go straight to my favorite one. One of my favorite ones is that Panama Lee. So, you can see, building a patch, pretty straightforward, right? You want to add some a reverb and delay or something like this. You just open up another slot. I put it in the wrong spot, but here. So that's your lead tone, you just added a little, little delay. encourages you to play like garbage because <laughs> you just like so much gain that you just start trying to shred and i am not a shredder <laughs> but it's fun to try <laughs> The thing is, I, I at least know what key I'm in, and I know what chords I'm playing. I'm more of a songwriter. <laughs> but then it, that, that's what this thing is. It's so much fun. It encourages that out of you. You're like, maybe I should practice more so I can actually like do this with like, good language. <laughs> I could actually sound like pretty cool. But, um... Yeah, I mean, like this thing, man, you know, as I, I say, I'm a huge, huge lover of it because there's so many things you can do. And then once you start getting kind of cooking, you just you can lose yourself trying to find sound. So I just sit here, you know, I made a dedicated, um, you know, because I said I'm a songwriter. And so I was like, you know, in the in the songs I produce, I really want to improve my sonics and get better tones and find tones that match the tunes I'm actually playing. And so I feel like because of the options you have on this, it, it, it makes it so, yeah, you can find tones that match almost any setting you're looking for, you know, and I'm, I'm not even scratching the surface. You can play bass, you can play acoustic guitar, um, and 
the possibilities are seemingly endless. So highly recommended this unit. If you have any suggestions or any comments or any, or you use this unit yourself and you have any insights on kind of things that sound good on it, please get in the comment section. Uh, let me know it's good. Start the dialogue. And uh, yeah, please stay positive. Don't get down on yourself. Keep working and uh, make some music. Peace out, players.